Deep Water Horizon was directed by Peter Berg and stars Mark Wahlberg and is the true story of the workers caught in the horrible oil disaster that occurred on Deep Water Horizon that was so widely publicized as the worst oil disaster in U.S. history. And this is the story of the people who were caught in the middle of this horrible day, the events leading up to this disaster, how it possibly could have been prevented, and how these people survived, as well as being a tribute to those who did not survive. Now, as I said, this was directed by Peter Berg. This is not the first true story that Peter Berg has made with Mark Wahlberg. The last one was Lone Survivor, and in fact, this isn't going to be the last. They also have a movie called Patriot's Day coming out that is also based on true events. So this is actually just movie number two in their unofficial Based on True Events trilogy. And just so you guys know, please stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm doing a special promotion with Squarespace and all my viewers who are web designers. I'm excited to share that promotion with you guys. I've been a fan of Peter Berg for quite some time. I really like The Rundown. I find that a very underrated action film. Battleship... Let's just all agree that was a mistake. As soon as the disaster begins, Deepwater Horizon was a non-stop, intense ride of immaculate sound design, technical mastery. It's very easy to watch a film like this that is technically non-stop action and just think that it's mindless without ever actually realizing how much work truly goes in to the technical things on display in this film which are to be lauded. This is a very realistic and gritty depiction of a terrible disaster. There's never a moment in this movie where I went, that's a Hollywood moment. That's one of those fake moments that makes us feel like we're watching a movie. This film feels very realistic. Aside from some up-close views of inside the oil pipe where we see gear shifting and stuff, which even those shots were very grainy and they felt almost like one of those tube webcams had been stuck down there. It didn't feel like we were watching a Michael Bay movie, so to speak. It felt very in the moment and very real time, and that was captured extremely well. If I'm being totally honest, it's the same basic structure of Lone Survivor. We set up some very likable people in the middle of a terrible situation, and once that situation goes down and shit hits the fan, it's nonstop from there to the end, just like Lone Survivor. But it works. It really works in this film, and a lot of that is due to a surprisingly effective first act. These characters that are set up are actually very well drawn, and that's something that definitely surprised me. I expected this film to be technically masterful. In regards to all of the stunt work and the explosions and the acting, I expected all of that to be done very well. What surprised me was how much I actually cared about these people, because it takes that entire first act to set up likable workers that have a very realistic rapport with one another. They tell each other jokes. There's a great scene where Mark Wahlberg reminded me of me. He takes a lot of pride in his office being perfect. And he asks someone who's leaving his office, you touch any of my shit? You touch any of my shit? And he's like, no, man, I didn't touch any of your stuff. And he goes in his office and things are moved and turned around. And it reminded me of me. Whenever a family member comes in here and borrows one of my Blu-rays and puts them back crooked, this is me. Oh my God, you touch my shit? You touch my shit? Touch my shit. These people touching my shit. Just leave my shit alone. It's my shit. Mm. I love that quirk that was given to his character, his OCD habits with the things that he collected or that he appreciated, because it, I, I, I can relate to that. But his family life with his young daughter who has a school project and his wife, Kate Hudson, these are all things that help us care more about his character. And in some movies, they just take the time to be like, look, he has a family, now care about him. Oh, maybe his wife is pregnant or something. Care about him because of those things. They really do take the time to set up a natural environment in which all of these people exist and work, and it feels completely real, and so when the really bad stuff starts happening, you really do care for these characters, and you want them to get out of this situation. Kurt Russell is also really good in this movie, and there is a fantastic moment between him and John Malkovich, who I did not know was in this movie, who plays one of the higher-ups at BP. And this moment occurs towards the halfway point of the movie, and I won't ruin it for you, but it gave me goosebumps. It was chilling. It spoke everything that needed to be said with no one even speaking a word. And that's good direction and that's good acting. The film also explores briefly towards the end our tendency to point blame and start pointing fingers at people when we don't really know all the facts. And that's something that I thought was really profound to be included in this film that some are just saying is an action thriller, but it really is a lot more than that. As for flaws, I suppose it's the same that I might have with Lone Survivor. It's sort of like you're just in it and it's so intense and then when it ends, you're like, oh man, like I, I feel like I never actually breathed or had a moment to breathe. But in a film like this, 
that works because no one in this situation had a moment to breathe either. They were all just in it and it had to happen right now. And so you don't always get these theatrical things that we're so used to getting to make us feel like we're watching a film. And I like that about this film. Guys, in the end, Deepwater Horizon was an extremely intense movie that depicted events that happened to people that maybe could have been prevented, and it displayed them in a surprisingly mature way. And that's something that I really enjoyed, and I'm gonna give Deepwater Horizon an A minus. If you are a fan of Lone Survivor, I think this movie will probably be up your alley because it's very similar. It's just a different subject with certain things changed around, but it's well done. So like I said, guys, I'm currently running a promotion with Squarespace. This is a very, very cool service that allows you to create your own website in an extremely easy way. If you go to squarespace.com slash Chris Stuckman, you can get 10% off your first purchase and start your free trial today. Now what they offer is this, a free custom domain, Squarespace makes adding a domain to your site simple. If you sign up for a year, you'll receive a custom domain for free for a year. They have beautiful templates. You can design a best-in-class online store with Squarespace's award-winning templates. Squarespace is also trusted by hundreds of thousands of savvy shop owners around the world, including all the tools you need to track inventory, process orders, and send custom emails in one intuitive interface. I started out in web design when I was a teenager. I made my own website, tried to do my own movie reviews, and that's actually what got me started and eventually I leapt over to YouTube. So what I would suggest to you guys is if you are into web design, check out squarespace.com slash Chris Stuckman. Use my last name Stuckman and get 10% off for a free trial and you guys can start your own website and see what you can do with it. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out Deepwater Horizon. I think it is definitely worth your time. It is a very intense experience and look forward to this weekend because I'm going to be having some more new classic reviews for you coming. More in my Ring series of reviews, more in my Harry Potter series of reviews, and maybe a secret series starting very soon. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.